Hello my friend and welcome to my channel in that episode I will speak about hard color and soft color I prefer have it inside my tank soft color you don't think it is are easier but the matter Hard coral, they are easy to keep too, but the hard coral, always, they need look at the water, water parameter, because they are too sensitive, and should be always your pH, KH, anyway, in a soft coral, always should be balanced, but always should be in balance, and trace element and the magnesium calcium should be in balance then i don't believe that phosphate and nitrite is zero because coral they use phosphate and nitrite in somehow as a food like plant which is to give it to them compost they use animal waste or fruit which is fall on the ground and by the time they use it as a compost because it's got vitamin and mineral inside so but people they thinking if the water crystal clear then they can keep coral and be success no it's just the fact it is wrong because water should be dirty not many as a dirty if cloudy or i don't know colory water should be crystal clear but inside should be having nutrition inside and what how how you will add those nutrition inside it is fish west you should be balanced number of fish and coral inside your tank because they are ecosystem they all work together if you have a tank and you for example overcrowd it from fish then your coral will be suffering if you have a tank and not many fish inside again coral will be suffering because best food and nutrition for the coral it is food waste and phytoplankton you know mainly all coral inside the nature they are take them food from water fish waste and the dead body of the fish i don't know whatever sea creatures they use nutrition which is dissolved inside the water then of course hard coral they need calcium, more calcium, magnesium, you know, potassium, you know, anyway, soft coral they need because all pulse and everything is connected to calcium, magnesium, in, like inside the human body, which is muscle, they need calcium and magnesium. Okay. So, if you add too early inside your tank coral, if not enough bacteria inside and not enough fish waste inside your coral going to die so in that way which is I, as I was I spoke about in my previous video fast cycle what is good in that things you balance bacteria inside your tank so you can add early coral inside but still you need fish and fish waste because it is cycle it is kind of ecosystem kind of cycle and the coral will be fed from fish west and your water will be going more nutrition from fish west because a process and bacteria is work like compost especially for soft coral soft coral are observed 
So the fact for people which is uh, use protein is given. If you got hard coral, you 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 can use sometime I don't know each three four days once protein is given. But if again you use too much protein is given, you will have a problem because you took off nutrition which is coral need inside the water. For soft coral, at all even sometimes you doesn't need anything, any protein is given because those soft coral are absorbed those phosphate and nitrate. If you're looking at the moment, a lot of shop. A lot of companies that are sell phosphate and nitrate dosing, which is you are at why? Because coral need that. But the fact they are telling you, oh, phosphate and nitrate is not good for you. Yes, if everything, if it is overdosing tank in life, even in human body is not good. Everything is moderation. Moderation, what it means, means balance. Balance between phosphate and nitrate inside your tank. So the fact I want to tell you when you want to choose your coral, you should be make sure your water has got enough nutrition inside. Doesn't matter hard coral or soft coral. Then you will have a success reef tank. Then you have to look at few parameters which is are important for coral calcium magnesium then trace element you know which is if you are change water regularly and use good salt you can replace those things so also you know <laughs> then you don't need uh, how you call it those dosing things and you are extra money spending for dosing pump you know for example add for your calcium magnesium yes of course if you have money you want to spend on it it is your choice but that's not mean without it you can be success yeah so you can but you should be follow those basic things and the light the light is doesn't matter be expensive or cheap you know the light should be bright enough on a white and blue color because blue color is color which is passed through the water and reach to the coral mainly. And if you have a that spectrum, it does help your coral grow up better. People are say target feeding. Target feeding is may good, may not good some way. Because you are in balance your water inside the tank does in a nature anybody going target feeding coral no they are to get food from the sea water by themselves they are absorbed and things so I not see any benefit from target feeding you can do it is optional but if your water has got nutrition enough then your coral will be taking what nutri what they want from water okay so we have to have a nutrition water and then we have a success and balance of ph kh and nitrate and phosphate not mean zero on a nitrate or phosphate because you need coral they will use it you know if you turn on too much protein schemer or things you will take those nutrition which is coral needed you know so i will speak about how care about coral I have a more success tanks and a lot of lot of more will become in future videos. Have a lovely day anywhere around the world. Stay tuned.